fully good. Yes, yes, yes. Evening, Monday. What's going on, people? Wow, wow, yeah, wow, so blow. And to say, and to say, and to say, welcome, Monday. Episode yeah, 48. Yeah. How's everyone feeling today? All good, um, man. All good, man. Yeah. The sun was out the whole day. No rain, so that's good. Yeah, no, it was a nice day today, man. I did the whole week, though. The rain's coming back. In full mm-hmm. effect. Yeah, they said that the rain is going to rain from now until for about another week and a half. I'm hoping it's not. Yeah. Every time I look at the weather, but it looks like it keeps on moving a little bit further, further. So hopefully it's not. Because like I said, I ain't putting a pair of tracksuit bottoms or long trousers in ages. Yeah, that summer we had, boy, was nice. But boy, now that lockdowns, see how lockdowns easing off till the rain starts. Bro. You see what I mean? Set up, man. A piss take, man. Proper piss take. Yeah, yeah. man. But yeah, so, all right, well, I'm glad to see all of you all right. Um, yeah, got a lot of positive feedback from last week's episode. If you haven't listened already, please go back and listen. Please. Watch, watch it on YouTube, share it amongst your friends. Yeah, like... Oh, hold on, hold on, watch it on YouTube, you said? Yeah, it's on YouTube, bro. It came out oh, on the same day, bro. What, what, Rich Grace act together, yeah? See. <laughs> I, I, sh- I shared it to everyone in the group. I don't... I'm joking. I'm joking, Rich. I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. You know what I mean? So, like I said, the, the video came out the same time as the pod. So, yeah, please do share that pod. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, cool. So, what's been happening in the past week? Well, exactly. Has there been anything else happening apart from the Black Lives Matters movement? We'll go into that. Is there anything else? That's no. <laughs> Bro, you know what? I need a break from. Bro, that's all. It... It's BLM, like all every day, like every every post, yeah. every everything, bro. The news, everything, everything. It's mad. And the thing is, I'm getting messages from people I haven't spoken to for ages. Oh Trust yeah, watch me. this video, watch that video. <laughs> like, bro, you man, you man are on it. You sometimes you guys are on it more than me. I'm conspiracy like, fit. Go yeah, on. go on, go, on, Rich. The conspiracy theories are out there right now. Apparently. George Floyd is not actually dead. Oh my! He's part, God. He's part oh, of the Mason. He's part of the Freemasons. Oh, of him, man. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. of him. You know what? Nah. <laughs> That's a mockery. That's a it's mockery. An actual mockery. Honestly, we, the maddest thing is we actually saw his funeral on TV. You know, that's a, you know I know. What I mean? and that, that was today as well. Yeah, that was today. He went today. And yeah, his funeral was today. Yeah, because they because yeah, they they moved him around in it so they went from uh, oh, the the yeah, to yeah. North Carolina to Houston, where he's from. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, I, saw, I swear I saw the memorial the other day. Yeah. yeah that was, that was, but, that was where he died, didn't it? But his yeah. hometown is Houston, isn't it? So too. But can, can you imagine that actually it was an LBC radio live, his funeral? It was on BBC as well. Oh, was it? Oh, no, see what I'm saying? It's, it's deep. It's deep. Yeah. Well. You know, obviously, um, yeah, BLM. That's what, that's what it's been. You know, you know, I feel like I posted too much in the groups. Like I can't help it, but I get so I get so much information. I feel I have to share it, so I'm just posting all the time. Like yo, you guys, blah, blah, blah. but I can't help it, man. And, but but do you know what? Do you know what's scary? What makes me realize I just don't know enough about black people, the black culture, because there's so much stuff. Like some some of the like the one in Bristol, the statue in Bristol. Yeah, I had no, I had no idea. I didn't know. I didn't know what the statue was. Yeah, yeah. so for those that didn't know, they took the statue of Colston down um, in Bristol and they basically threw it in the river. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't, and, I thought it was authorised, but it wasn't authorised. No, yeah. so, so what yeah. it was is a lot of, because I was got family over in Bristol, a lot of the Bristolians have been um, arguing for the removal of the statue because he was a slave trader. So apparently he was a slave trader and I guess he became a philanthropist because that is why the statue was there. And they're like, well, the second, the right doesn't correct the wrong kind of thing. So they wanted to, the statue came down, you did all those things. They got 10,000 signatures and all that kind of stuff. And basically they weren't taking it down. So when they did the demonstration, they took it upon themselves and took it down. And then obviously they just rolled it into the river and then like, there was a, even a video surfaced yesterday of like these white guys like jumping in the water to try and rescue the statue and stuff. So, yeah, yeah I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with that. 
even even today, um, following another petition, um, someone called Robert Milligan. Um, he was again a slave trader. Um, the statue was at was in West India Keys. Um, next is Ness Merv. I don't know if you know Ness Cine World, where we used to go oh, to yeah, cinema. Yeah. It's a statue of um, Robert Milligan, and that's been removed officially by the government because it's a petition. Everyone signed to get that removed and take that okay. down. Wow, I can imagine that there's probably going to be a lot more. Oh yeah, statues removed, man. Like, yeah. well. so and I think he's reviewing all the statues and road street names in London, isn't it? So. Yeah, I, I can't see them see it changing in any form of street names. I don't, I don't see that going to happen. Well, mate, um, what about Tottenham, mate? Black Boy Lane. Yeah, but well, it's definitely I, Black Boy Lane, but it's you know, again, I don't know. The, it, it's, 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 you'd have to work. You'd have to work out why they're called Black Boy Lane, Whiteman Road, all of these kind of things. You know I mean, I, I, I don't know the history of the name of why the road is called Black Boy Lane. Yeah, I think he's getting historians to review things and then they'll make like to help make the decision or understand why it's named that way before making a decision. Yeah, so we had, yeah, interesting. Well, sorry, Kel's turn for light. All right, <laughs> that, that was supposed to be a, a racial thing there. All right, so. <laughs> we, had all these, we had all these demonstrations, yeah? So we, like I said, we've had these demonstrations all over the world, to be the honest. The world, man. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah so you know what I mean? the demonstrations were in 50 states, every, every one of the states. So like I said, they brought in the curfew. They're not allowed to be out after a certain time. Um, they brought in the army. They brought in all of these. You've got National Guard um, doing kneeling. I've seen the National Guard doing the electric slide. Like, I don't really know if Trump is happy with this, but there's all that stuff happening in America. Mm. There has been protests, like you said, in New Zealand, in most of Europe. So we've had Germany, and I think even they've, I think there's been a mural put on some of the remainder of the wall of the Berlin Wall. Yeah, they've actually painted a mural of George um, Floyd. They've had protests in France, Australia, like, like most of the world, to be honest. Yeah. In England, like I said, it was up and down England. So it wasn't even just London. I saw demonstrations in Northampton, Manchester, yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. Like, it's all over the guy. Like, and then some of them, to be fair, have been quite peaceful. And I think the majority of people there are there for the demonstration purposes and not necessarily to cause trouble. Um, I saw a video, a video surfaced today of one in Broxbourne. Hoddeston but they had like a little Black Lives Matter kind of thing and then there was a lot of racist guys kind of responding like go back to Africa and what's the matter with you and like all of that kind of stuff and obviously that's not helpful oh, yeah. so you, you are getting a kind of a certain demographic that are not happy about the movement and are trying to respond and I think there was is it Tommy Robinson? yeah Tommy Robinson has tried to kind of get his EDL English Defence League to kind of come down to on Saturday to come to Whitehall and then at first it looked like they were coming to kind of start trouble but they've since tried to then change it to say we're coming to protect, protect our war yeah. memorials so we're, we're just going to be here to protect our war memorials like yeah. Winston Churchill because there was st stuff came out about Winston Churchill being racist and would they take his statue down and all those kind of things so yeah they've asked for the football hooligans and stuff to come down but not wear football shirts and not get rowdy whether that will happen yeah. or not, I don't know. We know what's going to happen. They will, they will come down. It will be, obviously, it will be guarded by the police, but it will spill over. We, we know what to expect. Um, I don't think it'll go too wild, but I think they'll be there to make this statement. You know, it, it, it's, it's going to happen. It's expected to happen. It, you can't, you know, Black Lives Matter, then you're, you're going to get these guys come out from anywhere, from... From, from everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Just like in America, when um, do you remember when someone, the guy in a truck, tried to drive through loads of crowd of people? Yeah. That that guy was the head of the Ku Klux Klan in Virginia. Serious. He, he was charged. Yeah. So you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that. But you know the biggest thing that happened in America, though, 
bruv, they're painting the, the, this whole street, Black Lives Matter, in yellow, bold oh, yeah. letters, capitals, on the mm. actual uh, boulevard to the Ooh. White House. Do you know what I mean? And really? actually, they named, they named that street Black Lives Matter. Like the mayor, the mayor of DC in it, she goes, she named the street Black Lives Matter. That's really? Big. Yeah. Like, it's big, man. I know, I know Trump is very... Oh, he's fuming. He's like Kusner. Kusner. <laughs> oh, she, she always comes to me begging for my extra money because she was running over her budget and this and that. But it's like Kusner, bro. <laughs> She's a black woman, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> again, Trump is a madman because I heard Trump went into a bunker last week. Like, so obviously he's been in the office for how many years and he's like... Yeah, Barack left it in such a like a shithole, and it's there's mess everywhere, and there's no food. And I'm thinking, like, bro, you like you've been in the White House for exactly. years. For, for Why is it years. just now that you've gone down there to see how you <laughs> think Barack left it? Like, I don't know. Like, you know, like keep Barack out your mouth, bro. Like, I don't understand. I know. You see that guy with the um, bow and arrow as well. Oh, and Joe. Like, oh, all lives matter, and it's like, thinking, what, where was he going with that one bow and arrow though? Like, that's proper. <laughs> You're just looking to take out one person, you know, bro. Yeah, but, but can you imagine if you got hit with that? Yeah, Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Okay, okay. oh, <laughs> okay. I can't, I can't yeah. lie to you, like, as serious as this is, yeah, when I saw that video, like, you know, you're supposed to like be shocked and stuff, yeah, like, that video had me in tears, you know, because I feel, where's he going with his one, like, and you know, you know, he's had that bow and arrow hanging up on his wall for years, isn't it? For years, like, like, just like, waiting. Just like, wait. Have, <laughs> have you not seen the full video of that though? Where yeah. um, they ask him the question, how did how did you get bust up like that? Yeah, and then he goes, Two African Americans, they hit me through my <laughs> they hit me through my open window. Through my open window. I was driving in my open window and two of them struck me. And I was shouting Black Lives Matter. <laughs> like, no, you say, no, no, he said he said he said all I did was shout out all lives matter. Was all and, I <laughs> <laughs> and then they see the video of the footage. Bro, we got we got matched about all pe- everyone, everyone Every, there matched it up. Everybody. Oh gosh. But even in saying that, oh my god, Kel, the video you posted yesterday in the group. Um, Which one was it? I posted so many, bro. The one from the health minister, not Cummings. Cummings is the other guy. Um, uh, what is his name? Not. Oh, what is that? What is the the British oh, health no. minister? Is it all the all, all the stuttering Hancock. one? Hancock. Yeah, the yeah. Dodger. And they said to Hancock... Out for, out for Dodger. They said to Hancock, ah, oh, so um, how many black people are in the... Oh, what, did he, what was the word he actually... What was the actual word? No, so the woman was asking him, so how many black people do you have in the House of Commons or something like that? No, I don't think it was in the House oh, yeah. I think it was like if, even a smaller group than that. It was like, you know, like Trump's kind... I mean, Boris's kind of little people then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh, no, but we've got such and such. And they were like, okay, no, no, no. Not like including the Asians, just like black, just black. Yeah? Just black. And then he was like, um, uh, no, because what it is, is since since Boris has been here, this is the most diverse it's been. Okay, but how many black people? Yeah, so um, actually, you know what it is? We have got diverse voices. Yeah. Diverse voices. <laughs> What's a diverse voice? Exactly. You know what the baddest thing is? Yeah? In my head, I would just say, oh, just say we don't have any. Exactly. But thank you for bringing it up and I'll see if we can address it. That's like, all. don't skirt around the issue. So I'm saying, exactly. like, just be yeah. truthful. I, I, I love that woman journalist, you know, because he goes, oh, when he goes to Asia, he goes, no, 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 no. I understand Asians also may have their, you know, prejudice yeah. and whatnot, but this is a black issue we're having right now. That's and right. it's a black experience I'm talking about. So do you have any black people? In, oh, she killed it. <laughs> she killed it, bro. He, he, he was stuttering, bro. Like, he was moving, yeah. like, <laughs> stutter, stutter. Just say the yeah. truth, bruv. Like, no one's yeah. gonna, no one's gonna slaughter you. And I feel like that's where I feel like we've got to slightly. Is I feel like just tell the truth, innit? it? Like, if you don't know, or you don't understand. Say you don't know and you don't understand. Like, yeah. don't skirt around the issue. Like, like if we're gonna have an honest conversation, have an honest conversation. Do you know what though? Mm. I, I I do feel sorry for some people when they're. Because of all this is happening, they're, they're really trying to be mindful about their language because obviously you know I play Sims, isn't it? So I was watching a video about they're, they're, they're doing a new pack and they've got like a lot of black hairstyles now. Yeah. They're putting in, and one girl was sort of describing the black person's hair. She's like, yeah, I really love this type of hair. Like, you know, it's really, fit. like she said, any, every other word apart from I like this black, this black hairstyle. Like, 
you could you, you're allowed to say that, do you know what I mean? And I, I think, know, I know. And that's I it, that's what I'm saying. But Murph, that's always been the case, you know, Murph. That's always been the case. Whenever I chat to like a, a white person, or whatever, and they want to describe a black person, the way they start out and fumble their words, and cause if you say, "Oh, describe the person," but they they, they can't say black, they'll, they'll go around the houses. Round the house. It, it looks like you a bit. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> like they can't say it as wide. It's a black is person. It, is it because? It's the people you're speaking to, for example, that haven't been around black people before. Or it's probably like that. I don't even think that. I, I think when there's things like this happening, obviously it's, it's a very oh, sensitive the current time. situation, the current situation. You mean? No, no, yeah. not before, even before. Oh, like, oh, yeah, I mean, even like maybe in general. Look, I'm not going to generalize and say it's all the time, but I guess yeah, where, where some people like are really kind of really mindful about their words, they don't want to just sort of say you're black or you're white or you're Asian or, or like they just they'll try and avoid saying anything to kind of put you in a certain position in life do you know what I mean it's like yeah, well that's... we're black people there's white people there's Asian people we just say what colour they're on it's like yeah it's but you know what you know what it is Merv subconsciously mm. they know anything associated with black is bad so you know what I mean, I mean black is always dirt, it's dirt demonic it's blackmail it's, you know, anything that's, you mentioned black is deemed as not, something right. that's not good. Do you know what I mean? Right. So they know that subconsciously that's what it is. So when they say black, to them it's negative. Do you know mm. what I mean? So they feel a way of calling us black. That's I mean, how, we, subconsciously, maybe, maybe. We, I, I can't say it's facts. We, we call ourselves black, do you know what I mean? So it's like... Yeah, exactly, yeah. We, like, yeah. I, I suppose if we're going to go down that route, we might as well just say we're not black people anymore. Do you know what I mean? And just yeah, yeah, yeah. Complicate yeah, things. So, yeah. no, it's what it is, man. It's like, well, we're, we're still black people, isn't it? So, That's it. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, um, it just, it's still so difficult to discuss. You know, everybody, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm a Twitter fiend, you know, and I'll... I've, I haven't really commented. I've, I made one statement and I've got people messaging me, oh, well, I'm really sorry. Like, don't say sorry. You know, if people message me private messages, oh, you know, obviously I don't know how you feel about the situation, obviously, because I'm not black, et cetera. I thought, just, just calm down, relax. But you see, you see, but you see though, okay, in some aspects, some of those people are coming from a place of genuine, like, um, being, they're being genuine. They don't yeah, know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, of course. Yeah, so, so that I, I don't have a problem with that. Do you see what I'm saying? Because again, like I said, it's about knowledge. It's about information. So my thing is, if you don't know, we will get to know. And if you want to ask me things, then that's not a problem. Do you see what I'm mm. saying? Like I don't mind that. But it's the it's all of the other stuff I don't like. And going back slightly, Merv, to what you were saying about like mm. us being labelled as black. Mm. I don't know if like because obviously in schools at the moment. Yeah. Like we're using this word bane. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not on your, this your, word. Your I'm not on word this word. You, you like, like, yeah. I'm not on it. Yeah? And if anyone calls me bane again, I'm switching. I'm switching. It's like, it's like, it's like a superhero, brother, or a villain. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what James... Like, because I just feel like, how is it fair that you are just trying to categorise everyone that is not white in this one word, bane? Yeah. yeah. That, like, I, I don't, that, I don't... It's, it's, it's hugely disrespectful. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that word either. Like, and to me, it, I know it's always been there, but it's, it's, it's sort of resurfaced more now. I'm hearing it a lot more and more, and I think, you know, it's like, yeah, it does. That's, that's the worst thing you can do because it's coming like the modern day coloured, bro. That's what I feel like. It's coming like in the modern day word, the modern version of coloured. Hmm. No, it's true. It's true. But I don't, I don't like that word. Yeah. So, like, uh, what does it stand for again? Black. Is it is it black, black Asian minority Asian. ethnics or black and minority yeah. ethnics? Yeah, black and minority yeah. ethnic. Yeah, yeah. Like, what are we talking yeah. about? Like, I'm anyway. Yeah. Yeah that 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 needs to go. Like that mean, needs it, to go. We can't we can't be doing that. We can't be yeah, doing nah, Black Lives Matter and we're accepting the word beam. I'm not nah, on it. No way. No way. No I'm way. not on it. My brother, um, I saw someone put up um, when someone says all life matters, it's like saying all jobs matter when um, you clap for the NHS. Yeah. You, you know what I mean it's exactly mm. the same thing like, or when when the, the towers went down in 9-11 for you to yeah. say all buildings matter exactly yeah yeah. yeah. like and, and that but you, I feel like sometimes you have to put it on that kind of level for some people to get an understanding yeah that's like, it that's how you gotta do it it is because yes we know all lives matter We that is 110% all lives matter 
Mm. But we're also saying Black Lives Matter. When no one ever said only Black Lives Matter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I mean, and I feel that's yeah, where yeah. the kind of the boundary, the misinterpretation the lies. Mm. Say again, Mar. Sorry, I didn't. I'm saying, yeah, sorry. Am I allowed? Enough? I'm saying people are missing the point when you when you when they hear Black Lives Matter, like they they they're hearing so don't all lives matter. We're not saying that. Yeah. But Black Lives also matter. Like you're, yeah. you're not seeing what we're saying, but yeah. I mean, I've I've had quote unquote friends or associates that are quote unquote woke, and I've said stuff like Black Lives Matters, and they've responded with All Lives Matter, and then I've consciously made a decision not to engage that conversation, because if I engage it, we're no longer going to be friends or associates. <laughs> so I, you know, like I said, okay, cool, like that's your one strike. We'll, we'll keep it like that. You know, the funny thing is, I've, I've got a mixed, I've got a mixed race friend, and um. Like he was, he was so mad because obviously he's got family, like white, his white side of family, and he's saying like even them being silent during this time is speaking volumes. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So he's like he's he's probably like cutting people off, like left, right, and center, including family, because people that you think will have your back will understand a bit more are just either saying all lives matter or they're not saying nothing at all. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So he mm. said he's like he's going he's going mad. You know what I mean? Like nah. Like he's drawn, he's drawn a line. You're either with us or against us, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? It is like, and that's the thing. It's like it goes. But I, I, like I said, I'm still waiting for my workplace. Yeah, I'll call it out. I'm still waiting for my workplace to make some form of comment or some form of acknowledgement of what's going on. Oh, they haven't. They haven't. No, 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 they still haven't. And I, I'm going to work tomorrow anyway, so don't worry. They're going to have to make one by the end of the week because I'm not. <laughs> it's not acceptable. Yeah, no, it's real. Like I. Last week I said that my, my company didn't say anything, but it did say enough for the day after. So I appreciate that in that but a, a big meeting, a big board meeting over the phone and whatnot. And um they mentioned it like a good five, ten minute conversation about it. So yeah, that was good. Like and again, even if they were to say, you know what, um we don't want to get involved in the political, so we're not gonna say nothing. For me, it's better than you say nothing, period. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, cause now I just think like what it, you don't think it matters. Because right now, this is LGBTQ month, yeah? And I guarantee mm. you, my work is going to celebrate it. Mm. I mean, and I feel like we could, let, if we're going to fight for the marginalised in society, let's continue that fight for everybody, not pick and choose who we fight for. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah. Anyway, so, Mandem, one of the things is, we've had these demonstrations, they've been all over the world. What is going to change? And I think I asked this question, and there are some things that have changed, but I mean, like, if we look at when teachers go on strike, for example, teachers are saying, we want to go on strike because we have unfair working conditions. They put their pickets up, they strike, it's addressed, they go back to work. The bus drivers or the train drivers, they say, we want more pay, they don't run the buses for a couple of days, the city falls to a, 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 a halt, the government says, okay, cool, you get your money. Yeah, they go back to work. So all of this kind of Black Lives Matter, we they protested, they've demonstrated, but have they asked for what they want? Like, what do they want? And does everybody want the same thing? What, in regards to what? So, okay, so these people, what? okay. So we've said, no justice, no peace, all of this yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah. We've done that, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. We've marched, we've said people's names, we've done all yeah, that. But yeah. if this was, if you were just looking at this from the outside, if you were saying, okay, how do we stop these demonstrations from happening? Or how do we appease everybody? What is it that they want? What, do, is there something that we're all asking for? Just equal right. We're just asking for that, just to be treated like everyone else is treated. That's what we're asking for. But is, is that a wishy-washy statement? So, for example, if we say, okay, cool, we will treat you how you want to be treated. Yeah, and no, then no, no, everyone no. goes back. So go no, on, Mike. Then no, they're not. They're saying that, but they obviously they know it's not as simple as that. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. What is it? What what uh, what well, do you think well, we're they're asking? saying that? Like from an educational side, how we can do things, but obviously the other thing what we've all been saying is like engaging. Like even if people are like seem afraid to approach, like it seems weird that someone's approaching you about it and they feel awkward. That's just a time to sort of just speak isn't it and have mm. a conversation because nothing's like 
like all the history books or them introducing stuff into history books that might you know appease things because it's not going to rewrite history but it's still not going to change like the curriculum like the curriculum is what it is they're not going to say now start teaching adding this into the curriculum because they're not going to do it no but, but they should though they should they should but yeah. that is just one of the many things that like the overall of things of them understanding and listening they're going to need to do with that stuff but you're going to need like and then when you were saying like you'd when the teachers go on strike or when the, the bus people go on strike, they've got like, there's, a, there's an MP that represents that or there's someone in the cabinet for that sort of thing. And, we, you know, it's almost like you need, I think, is it the, the BAME sector or black and ethnic man or whatever they're called? Who represents, like, is it the culture secretary? Because you need, with those examples that you gave, they can take it to that place and maybe it just gets a bit more back in. So that's, so that's what I'm saying. So that's what, and that's kind of what I mean. So we've had these demonstrations. How do we then take it to the next steps? Like I know we, we, we can address or we have addressed the places where we think we need change or we would like change to happen, whether it be in the education system, whether it be in the justice system, whether it be a sense of equality, whether it be how the police deal with us, all those kind of things. It's kind of like, how do we take this a step further? Well, like, for example, um, I think Gog's put in a group, uh, a petition for education um, mm. for black, you know what I mean, black history or black awareness to be taught in, in, in schools. And I think that's all we could do, really, to sign petitions on everything that we feel needs to be changed. So it gets so it gets brought up in Parliament. I think that's the, that's the most that we could do as, as, as a... Obviously, uh, when it comes to elections, know who we're voting for, like, actually, you know, research them and know what they're about. Uh, you know, even though they're all liars anyway, but do you know what I mean? It's just like you have to know who you're voting for in regards to your local councils and you know these these people of power. You know, because we hold at the end of the day we hold the power because we vote. Do you know what I mean? So us is voting for Labour and Conservative all the time. It's not the way forward. We have to know who we're voting for, who these people are, and what they stand for. And again, um, these petitions like we gotta make sure it gets brought up in in the House of Commons. You know what I mean? As, for in regards to you know, education, in regards to awareness, in regards to, you know, diversity in the, in the police force and whatever, whatever, do you know what I mean? In the House of Commons even, it needs to be more diversity, more more change. So th- this is all, as, as, as the public, this is what we can do mm-hmm. in order to get our voices heard, I feel anyway. Do you know what? I think when they ask the question, what's to be done next, what should change? Do you know how difficult that question is? No, yeah. it, it, it isn't an easy I'm question. Out. A... I, I, it's a, for me, that's what I'm saying. For me, even for me to understand, I think it is a very hard question. But I feel like it's a question we should now start quest- asking ourselves. Do you know what I mean? How do we then make that change? For me personally, I think this is a generational thing. I think change is going to come as a generation. It has to be a generational thing. It's not something that's potentially going to change within our lifetime. We no. can start making things towards change, for like true change to happen. Yeah. But it's a generational thing because I think, like I said, we always go back to our default. When our backs against the wall, we'll go back to our default position. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, it's, so we've got to try and change that default position. Or, um, or after a few after a few days, just die off from everyone. We'll just go back to normal. No, we need to keep on them. We need to keep on them. I, I don't think we can ever go back to normal following this situation. Well, I hope so. I, I would hope I, so. I, I, I really don't. But to me, I think the main problem is 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 the history. That's that's our default because I think. If you speak about obviously Black Lives Matter, people go back to the slavery. That's like all the statues are being taken down because they're all slave traders. It's the history on the back of everything that's happening on, happening now. And oh, there's no way we can erase history. I know, but there there will be a there's a point where when is the cutoff? When are we gonna say we're not gonna think about history no more? No, but, but Rich, this, this, this is another issue. This is what needs to be taught in schools as well. This is the education that we need to provide. That history that, doesn't start with slavery. Thank you. It doesn't start with no, slavery. No, no, no. no and I yeah. think, that, you and know I what I mean? Think when, when you can now have a generation growing up knowing that, yes, slavery is a part of your history, but it's not all of your history, and you can go back and see that you were kings and queens, and you can see that you built emperors, and you can see all of those kind of things, you would then have a different outlook on your life. Yeah. We were trading with we were trading with Asia way before 
you know how many Europeans came into Africa? Do you know See, what I mean? And so, that, that history that needs to be told. That's what I'm saying. And it, it is, is and it's to be told. The richest man, the richest man in the world was from uh, Mali, bro. Musa Mensah. Yeah, uh, Musa Mensah. Mensah. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember his name. The, yeah. the, the, the Songhai Empire was a, the greatest empire. Do you know what I mean? All these things, like, it needs to be taught. It needs to be, it needs to be taught, like, even to ourselves. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Our history you did know, not Europe. start with roots. What was, what was that? Europe. Europe is named yeah. after a black queen, for example. I don't know if anyone there knows. There Queen Europa from, like, a uh, Igbo um, Canaanite background just okay just so you know that just you can just google that and you'll see the images of her okay <clears> i see that, did, that i didn't know that i didn't know that even when people say like go back to africa and all that well how how is this massive place named after a black queen like, you yeah you've got to question those things and also um i'm going to moors, google the, yeah no right? even even the moors the moors <laughs> co- yeah. conquered spain and yeah. um and southern and, and parts of italy and they taught them how to bath they taught them plumbing system they told us so many things, bro. So many things that, that, that the Spanish still use today. You know what I mean? And like, it's just like, wow. Well, but no one knows this. You have to, you have to Google, you have to research. Yeah. Just, be, just be general knowledge to everyone. Yeah, the more, the more, and, and the, more everyone, the more everyone is educated, the more people, the more, um, not acceptance, but the more like, I can't speak, because people, all people know that we were slaves, isn't it? We're slaves, we're poor, you know what I mean? We're, we're thugs, we're gangsters, we're, you know, all the negative stuff. That's, that's a, the stereotype that's surrounding black people on a whole. Do you know what I mean? So when white people get to know black people, that's the first thing they'll see because of the, the media and book, whatever, whatever's available to them. That's, that's the first thing they'll see. But it, it shouldn't be that way. The case should be where you know what um, blacks have done in the world. You know what I mean? And know how we establish and create civilizations across the world and, you know, you know, this, this, the, the, the general knowledge of, because we, Africa is world history. You know what I mean? Yeah, Africa yeah. is world history. So like, that's what I mean. It's just like, it's the wrong image that's being portrayed for, for I don't know why, but for some certain reason. And this is what we need to get out of the media and whatever. You know what I mean? No, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so, case, yeah, sorry, go on, Rich. No, I was just saying, it's like changing the whole syllabus, the whole, the whole what, whatever's taught in from school from day one to be reformed. I and reach, me, I'm going to do a quick test. How, how many wives did Richard? Uh, I mean, how, how many wives did Henry VIII have? Eight. <laughs> Wrong. No, seven. <laughs> Wrong. No. What? What? what what's her name? <laughs> Catherine of Aragon. Um, <laughs> what? How many wives <laughs> do you have then? Just one you mentioned. Come on, let's see the other ones. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to think how many... Uh, how, many wives um, you, how many wives does she have? How many other wives do you have? Six. Six. Yeah? All of us know that, yeah? Well, well. We, we know of it. We know of it. No, I wasn't that, that rich. I didn't mean it in any other way. Yeah? <laughs> we, we know who William the Conqueror is. Yeah? yeah? You know about the Vikings and the Celtics. Yeah? yeah? This is I history. Know, yeah? The Tudors. We, we was, well, this is history we all learned in school. And as I'm saying, but... <laughs> Even 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 that 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 man who discovered something that was not lost for him to discover it. We yeah. all know about Christopher Columbus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know why I'm laughing? I don't know. I called him Columbo. Yeah, I know. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something. But do we? Like I said, what history do we? Are we taught in school? We know. We, bro, in year eight, we watched Roots, fam. Yeah. That was it. Like that was literally. We learned about exactly. roots. We learned about yeah. transatlantic slave trade, and that was it. And then, if your school was a little bit woke, you might learn about Martin Luther King. You may you know have learned what, about him. Do you, do you know what, guys? Though, just listening to what you guys are saying, yeah. Like, obviously, I, I think it's important to know our history, like without a doubt. I think every culture should know their own history, anyway. Mm. But I suppose when you're in a country, I guess predominantly where, let's say, for example, England is a predominantly white country, okay, mm-hmm. and I guess, and, and, and maybe, maybe it's no fault of anyone to sort of think, okay, well, we're in this country, we're in this white predominantly country, so we're going to sort of base our history teachings around, I know you've got to do it around the world, but they're mainly going to yeah. sort of maybe focus on what's happening in the UK. 
And, yeah. and I'm wondering, like, let's say, for example, if you were to go to school in Africa, what sort of history would they be teaching you? Mm. They would they be teaching you about Africa? If you were to go to China, you'll be taught mm. predominantly sort of Chinese history. So I suppose if we're going to sort of want black history to be taught as well, like a lot more in schools, and, and this is not me sort of thing, so thinking like all lives matter sort of thing, but if things do need to change, then it needs to change on a whole cultural basis. So it's like, well, yeah, like we need to be having more black history. We need to be having more Asian history, um, and like all of it, basically. Do you know what I mean? Because then it becomes about, I guess, blacks versus whites and opposed to like, well, these things, these things need to be spoken about as well. Because if they're going to change one thing, they need to change it all. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I yeah. think they should. Okay, so when I say when I say about Black history, yeah. I don't mean I don't think they need to change the whole syllabus to include like everything that ever happened to Black history. No, no. But you can't be you can be you can be better selective in how you represent Black history. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah as yeah, opposed so, yeah. to just a slave trade. But also, no, I okay. think even though we're in England, mm. I think England has a duty to teach the history of all of the Commonwealth. Yeah. Because part of the Commonwealth, you, England, and we'll go on to it later on in the episode, you were supposed to be the, the quote-unquote motherland of the um, Commonwealth. Oh, because of that, you should be able to teach all of their history. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you should be yeah. teaching about when you went to India or when you went to China and you stole their tea and all that kind of stuff. You should be saying all of it. Yeah. yeah. But, listen, but also, th- th- that's what I'm saying. And th- the English and the Europeans have distorted our history. Yeah. They have met, they, they have told lies about our history. Do you know what I mean? They portray uh, a false image of, of us and our history. Do you know what I mean? So this is why they need to change that. They need to change that, man. That, that, this, 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 is, this is the thing that I'm saying. Like they, the, the history that they, they tell us or they, they reveal to the UK and to Europe in general is false. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, you have to redo their wrongs, basically. You know, this, this that's how I feel. And like mm. Nate said, you, we, Af- Africa history is world history. And and if you're if you're talking if you're, if you're talking about history, you have to involve Africa, and you have to say the truth of what, how how it is what it is and how it became what it, what it is and what they done to those how you know well, they'll never do it, but they need to know how they they came and this. That basically destroy the whole of Africa. Do you know what I mean? And, and, um, and I think you should you you can be honest in your history or be honest in your depiction of history, because I mean even the way that Germany is, like for example with some of their Jewish, um, they don't hide away from what they did. Do you get me? That's not they they don't they renounce what Hitler was, but they don't deny him as part of their history. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean like that. They like, this, for example, the SWAT sticker. They know that is offensive now. So they've taken that down. They've acknowledged that. Do you know what I mean? They've acknowledged that. We move forward. And where you have, for example, and I know I'm jumping the continent here, where you have the Americans that keep having the, what's that flag called that they have? Oh, the flag. Um, the uh, Confederate flag. Yeah. Is it Confederate flag? Yeah. Like they still have that. And they, can, they know that it causes offence, but they're so wrapped up in their own, like, our lives matter. Like they're not acknowledging what it means to everybody else, and I think it's just about those kind of things. It's just about an acknowledgement to say, okay, you know what? Just, like in the past, it was crappy. Yeah. How do we have all of these things in the British Museum? Like, where is there gold and diamonds and um, minerals found? Yeah, in... and love. Just one. So go on, Carl. No, I was gonna say yeah, but another thing. When it, when it always like do that like, the poppy and all that kind of stuff, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're always remembering the, the veterans and stuff. Yeah. But we, not we, sorry, but Africans and Caribbeans were on the front line. They yeah. they and came Asian, they came Asian. to the Caribbean and Asians. They came to the Caribbean, African, Asian, and put us on the front line of mm. those. Uh, you know what I mean? So we we were on the front line dying first. You know, but we don't get no homage. We don't get we don't get until I think last year was the first time I saw some some sort of homage. But like, we don't get no like oh you know what. Thanks to Africa, thanks to the Caribbean, you know, thanks to Asia for you know also you know helping us win the the, the war because mm. we, mm. we were there front line, 
You know what I mean? But that never gets taught in, in schools or nothing. All we hear about is, all, is, all we see is the white people mm. that fought in the war and England were, were victorious because of whoever and, and whoever. But we were key to that. We were key to the victory. But that will never, ever be documented. Yeah. So yeah. That's the kind of things that needs to be changed. The, the, the sad thing, man, it's, I, you know, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but I'm just thinking since as long as human history is being recorded, do you think it will ever change? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... I think, well, yeah. I think it, well, even if it doesn't help change, I think there is no, there's no harm in us striving to affect change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. But, yeah, it's... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I suppose I should say I don't know how it changes, to be fair. And I guess that's what we're talking about now. Mm, but yeah. um, it, it's hard because... You, you almost literally have to change the whole planet, you know. And, and that, that, it doesn't, the whole, I guess Captain the attitude planet. of the whole planet. Huh? Yeah. Planet. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that our powers combined were. So, like, <laughs> so we need to change the whole thinking. And it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a big thing, man. The big it's thing. A, big thing. Yeah, yeah. I think, like Nate and um, Kel said, we won't see this change happen in our lifetime. Yeah, um, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna take three or four generations. I hope, hopefully, you know, we'll get there. We'll we'll get our just deserves in, in a positive way, and and there'll be balance once again in the world in the human race. Yeah, I, I think I think the human race we need to recognize each other as first of all being human beings. We're all human beings. We we all have things in common and whatnot and also to celebrate our cultures as well so i'm not saying that okay we're all human we should all be we should all be treated with respect and, and so on and so forth but also let's not deny our cultures either and that's how it should be really as well and, and like nate said it's like well if, if if some people are kind of thinking all right well yeah you are a human being but actually i want to know a bit more about your um, about the black culture by all means and it's the same same thing goes like I want to know more about the white culture or the Asian culture. It's Asian like we should just all be able... It, that's how it should be, really. It should never be a, a case of segregation at all. No, and that, no. I, and I, 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 like I said, for me, even stuff with, like, religion, mm. like, the amount of conversations that I have with people of lots of different religions, and it's not from a place of, I want to, I don't know, I want to join or anything, but it's no. always from a place of understanding. I want to know why your thought process is the way your thought process is. Like, mm. what are the kind of issues that affect you? I mean, those kind of things. Like, yeah. at work, I talk to people that are Sikh. I talk to people that are Buddhists. And, do you know what I mean? Because it, mm. it interests me. Yeah. No, definitely. It's, it's always there. It's always an interesting conversation. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah so it, it's not just the white people that mm. we feel that is, is racist. No, 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 like I said last week, it's across the world, mate. Across the yeah. world. It's, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's a worldwide issue. Yeah, and, we're not, and that's what it is. We're not trying to create a race war. We are trying to stop a race war. Do you know what I mean? We're, not, we're trying to level the playing fields. Mm. That's, I guess that's what deep down everyone is really asking for. It's just a level yeah, playing field. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Agreed. All right. So one thing that I think within the community, they are trying to do, Kel, and... Is Black Pound Black Pound Day? Yes, yes. So, what is Black Pound Day, Kel? So, you know, everyone knows Swiss from Solid, yeah, Mega Man's brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mean the, the the top five tracks? I reckon top five UK hip hop tracks ever. Cry, you get me that track. Oh. Jeez, big tune. Huge pimples. Even now, just think about that track, massive track. Um, but yeah, basically, he's coming with an idea that on the twenty seventh of June. That every black person, well, I don't, think, I don't think it's just limited to black people, but obviously the the message is to us that we should basically, um, you know, support back black businesses by by purchasing uh, black products. Do you know what I mean? No, by black companies. Any money what was that? Other. And yeah, not, not money on any other companies. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> and not spend money on not other outside companies, basically, and it's focusing all our money on black businesses, black owned businesses. Take it, you lot didn't watch the video I sent before that. That said the same thing, but for the seventh of July. Yes, oh. I did read it. That was that was the person in. So that, yeah, so 
I guess what we're saying is that a lot of people have been coming up with this idea and yeah. the person that you did send was the 7th of July and I think Swiss is also then, he said the 27th of June. To be honest, it can be a monthly thing. And I think, to be honest, we've done things like this in the past, yeah? And I think it just has to be sustainable for it to work because for you to create real change, you've got to deal with the economy and economical change is the only way that some people will actually make a difference. So for example, if you stop spending money, companies start to say, okay, well, actually this is now affecting us. And so that, I guess, is the kind of um, ethos behind the Black Pound Day. Yeah, and we, we are the biggest spenders. Black people are the biggest spenders, man. Yeah, so, and we spoke about it in the past, money doesn't yeah. stay within our community very long. At all. At all, man. Yeah. So that is the date. And potentially, like I said, Marlon, maybe we're doing two. Maybe we're doing the 27th of June and the 6th, 7th of July. Like I said, for me, I'm on it all the time and I don't mind. Yeah. Obviously, man still has to go test scores and them kind of things. But, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But, and again, this is one of the things, though. It's not on that day. Cool. Yeah, or not on that day. But also, people that are going to support this day, you have to do it with a clean heart and an open mind. And you don't have to do it with, like, but raw. My man sells it, like, Kel, the example <laughs> yesterday we spoke about. Yeah? The planting, yeah? So, yeah. <laughs> it's free for a pound. Um, one of our, fr- like, they went to the shop, they, they went to support a black business, said, how much for free planting? They said, £2.50. They said, what it all? Like, but this one sells it for one pound. But, they still went through and they did support. And it's those kind of things because we have to understand, they don't have the same, we don't have the same connections. So, potentially, you might have to spend a little bit more. This is the thing. So don't get don't get put off by, like like Zz Zz Mill said. You know what I mean? Because like you, you go to Debenhams or you go to like a, a, even a, let's say a Louis Vuitton store, or whatever. The customer service is not always great. They don't even look. You know, they don't even acknowledge you or they look at you like you're a thief. But we still go back to those shops and buy. Do you know what I mean? So if you get bad customer service in a black shop, don't say See, this is why I don't shop at black people place because they always give you attitude. No, I'm not. I'm never it's going back true. there. Caribbean shop, rest, Caribbean and Africa, shops. Africa shop, Africa shops as well. The attitude, bro. They give you Goodness. attitude. So that's what I mean. So, but we shouldn't use that as a as a excuse to not shop or buy stuff from our people. You know what I mean? We shouldn't. You shouldn't do that. It's just either educate them as well, or just you know what I mean. Just go with a smile, like smile back, and with time. You know, I mean, they'll catch on to you. I don't know what it is about black nah, people it, and, it and the, attitude. I have no idea. It, where, I don't know why we have uh, this attitude. But if you're in shops, right? This is ignorance. It makes no sense. Yeah, I, I have no idea. There's no, there's no excuse for the way they act sometimes when you go into a shop. It's like they can't be bothered to be there, but it's your business. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I know. I, I know it. this. I know. I know. I know. But it's just, it's 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 it's, a, it's an issue that we have to deal with as a people. It is an issue that we have. And, and you uh, remember th- again, this is an age long issue. I remember real McCoy episodes from the nineties <laughs> with the same thing, bro. They go into the West Indian shop. Can I have some oxtail? We not no. We have no oxtail. You have jerk chicken. We <laughs> have no jerk chicken. What do you have? What do you want? And you know, like it's <laughs> stuff like raw. Come on, man. Like, and, and I think it is. Like we we laugh at it, but. Like there are other there are other ethnicities that have ironed this stuff out, bro. They've seen yeah. the beauty in good customer service. Trust like, me. and I, I talk about like I can talk about stuff like some Turkish restaurants. Like in the last four or five years, there's been like a big boom, like in Turkish food, and everyone wanted to eat Turkish food. And you think mm. about it, all it is like, no disrespect to them, it's grilled meat in it. It's grilled meat, mm. yeah. Like it's meat on a grill. It's nice, North like London. seasoned and stuff. Yeah. Like North London North is London. Cool. North London's everywhere. North London's, yeah, Turkish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they, we're out here. But but what I do know about them shops is the customer service in there is immaculate. Yeah, they are Long on London. this. They understand the beauty of customer service. Yeah. And if we, I feel like sometimes if we in our community could also understand that, bruv, we'd be thriving because I'm not going to lie, bruv. Like I've got colleagues that say to me like, Oh Nathan, can your ma- your mum make some of that goat curry? That goat curry. I'm like, goat curry. <laughs> you mean curry goat? And then they're, they're like, oh, oh, I do love this chicken jerk and all this. I mean, if you're one of them colleagues at work, I apologise for doing this version of this song. But they're on it. Like they love they love the cuisine, bro. Trust me. 
it's, it's a bit oh. spicy. It's a bit spicy. It's spicy. Oh, I do love that chill off. But, but that's what I mean. But that Turtle chill Bay off. and all them ones, they're not the real ones, but they're making them more money because of the customer service. You know the what I mean? Customer service. So, yeah. Okay. That's, Quick so thing, on this pound day, is it Black Pound Day? Yeah. Right? How yeah, do you determine yeah. what's black shops? Well, so there are so there are lots of, especially now, there are lots of Facebook groups, there are lots of Instagram groups, all these kind of stuff that are promoting black businesses. So, like, don't get me wrong, I'm like, I'm, I'm big enough fully geek pod on that because I, I class that as a black business, yeah? Yes. Um, yeah. We'll see if we get some Lost money. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so it could be that, for example, there's like the black meat shop. That's a shop that's in the ends, like a black meat shop where the butchers, all of that, they're black, yeah? It could be that you go in and spend your money and that kind of thing. Or it could be that you go and buy maybe black products. Do you know what I mean? Like those are the kind of things. But again, that comes with its own kind of query because some products we think are black are not, or, or black owned are not black owned. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you say go and buy black products. So you will go to the local shop, uh, well, black shop where you go and buy black products, but it's owned by. <laughs> And, uh, no, not black yeah, products, yeah. black businesses. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, it says more about black businesses. So if there's a black business in your area, you support Get a haircut. It could be the barbers. <laughs> the bar- the, the, again, the barbers could be one. So on the yeah. 27th, every man go and get a fade, apart from me, because I don't I have, yeah. But you know what I mean? Maybe we go and get a fade. <laughs> what, what, what's, the, what's, about, what's about if you're like, if you have to travel, man? Like, you have Sorry? to public order, order a Caribbean takeaway from Deliveroo, really. Yeah, could I mean, be. but where, 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 where if, you have, if you have to go into work and you have to actually use like public transport and stuff, walk, walk, yeah, yeah. Like, walk, walk, walk to West London, <laughs> probably. Walk right about. I don't know if you have any black businesses. Walk the really carriage. <laughs> I, I don't know. If... Get, get a black cab in it. It's a fool. Yeah, so that's what it is. We've got to try and support our black businesses, and I think it's important. So. Yeah, let's support our own. See how it goes. No, yeah, definitely. Obviously, yeah. we can't. It's it's like 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 you're saying. Like it's it's is impossible, Murph. Like to not like you said. Like those scenarios, yeah. you're gonna have to. You know what I mean? Mm. But just, if you can consciously make a decision to just do it, then that's good enough. You know what I mean? It's good mm. enough. Yeah, and you, you may, like I said, you may have to go on the bus, you may have to go and spend money in a in a different organization. But maybe you actually on that day you specifically say. I'm going to try and support a black business. So it might be that there's a book that you want to buy in a black bookshop. Yeah. Mm. And you could buy it today. And you're like, no, actually I'm going to buy it on that day. Mm. I walk there, man. Don't spend no money on the transport. Black Get money on anyone else except black. Either that will take annual leave, man. If it's you got a Sabbath for me. It's a, yeah, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. No spending Saturday. anyway. No. Winning, <laughs> winning. <laughs> so, quick question: How many black people are in the UK, roughly? I don't know. I know we're two percent or three percent. That's what I know. I don't know how many. You know. Nate's because on the it, Googles. Nate's on the Google. No, because yeah. honestly, if you really think about it, in order for us to, I think Marla might mention this a few weeks ago. So, if if every black person gave a particular person who had a great business opportunity a business idea everyone gave every black person gave one pound to that individual and open a successful business and con- constantly we did the same thing going round and round and round yeah, wouldn't yeah. we wouldn't we yeah. be f- a massive yeah. i don't know i'm just my head i'm just thinking what why are we doing that in england we're three and a half percent which works out to be just under two million one point eight four six million I thought it's more than us than that. No, we're only in the cities, Rich. We're only in the cities. That's it. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's why. We're only in the cities. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, this is a lot of us. In Scotland, there's 36,000. In Wales, there's 18,000. Wow. Oh, no, that's no. on the 2011 census. That's, what, nine years ago. But they update every 10 years, isn't it? No, but, yeah, I'm just, yeah, just thinking, well, someone can't, we can't donate one pound to one person who we feel that it's gonna a great business plan, a great idea. Yeah, like we should, man. Like but, that's what I mean. With social media, there should be like a platform where there must be there must be a platform. Do you know what I mean? Where we we could just go and like just see these ideas or see these. Could businesses. you imagine? One you know, pound. Dragon, then. 
Oh, Almost yeah. two million of us. If everyone to... contributed awesome. one pound, yeah? One pound. We'd have two million pounds that we can invest into certain businesses. Yeah, man. Um, um, can you guys set it up and... Um... <laughs> Yeah, but the problem the problem is is within our within our community there's too much distrust. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't want to say it, Nate. I yeah, to I'm it. going to be ruining it. It's too much distrust. Who's going to be yeah. the man that holds the check? Exactly. Uh, exactly. Every black man give one person a pound each. You don't need. To be honest, money. it's not even the community. <laughs> it's gone. Straight up, the amount of people involved, I'd be worried anyway. No, as I'm gone. saying, could, if you imagine everyone put a pound in, like you don't, you only lose a pound, but the man that's got two million. All of a sudden, you're knocking on his door, you're ringing his bell. You, you ain't it's seen him. Exactly. That's what we... Hey, let's do a GoFundMe. <laughs> Fully Geek Pod listeners. One pound each. That's all we're out of now, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> we end up with 20 quid. Fuck <laughs> 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 I joke to you, mm. you there's, there's more than 20 of you. But yes, let's get on to the nuts and bolts of what was going on. Yeah? So... Have you people been... Sorry, you people, that sounded so bad. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> Who are you people? That is ridiculous. So, has everyone been watching TV again? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and yeah. no. On and off. On and off, on and off, yeah. That's cool. Need the TV, man. Need the TV. Need some yeah. escapism. All right, yeah. so l- last week, Killing Eve was its final episode. Yeah, they had episode eight. I watched yeah. it on, I saw it on Sunday thinking it was the last episode. Then Merv corrected me and said, no, that it's already been on. So I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't realise. I thought that Killing Eve was on every Sunday. I didn't realise Killing Eve was actually on on Mondays. Yes, yeah, And the repeat was on on Sundays. So every week I've been looking at the Sunday thinking it's the new one. But yeah. No. Did you man watch the final episode? Were you happy with it? No, nah, man. No. I, 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 was, I was satisfied. I'm, I'm wondering <laughs> if there's room for season four. Well, why, was, why was you satisfied, man? What happened in it that makes you satisfied? What, what, was, know, it, I, what was the I'm plot finished. that you thought, okay, yeah, that, that was a good plot? I've just, I just like the whole thing. I just like the whole thing in general, isn't it? Like, no, I, 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 know, I, yeah, go I know you've got your gripes with it, isn't it? And the far-fetchedness and, and, and so on and so forth. But I, I don't know. It's, it's, I, I, don't, I don't see how you could have made that any better, to be fair. But there's no cliffhanger at the end. I, I, there's no, what was a cliffhanger? And and this is why I'm thinking, is there going to be another series? Because I'm like, you could potentially just end it there. Yeah. But they've made it like sort of open ended, really, haven't they? So, because yeah. I'm like, dude, when I was looking at the time towards the end, I'm like, wait a minute, we've not got long left. We've got about five minutes, and I'm waiting for something a bit more to happen here. Because I'm still thinking, like, right, what's happening with the twelve? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah. And all the um, the agents in Russia and all that stuff, like because I know they they we're, we're doing spoilers, yeah? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like so, you know they they um, what's her name? Carolyn took out what's his name? Paul, I think his name was um, from the MI6. Yeah, like he, he like he was working with the twelve, wasn't he? So, but I'm like, all right, you're just one part of it. So what's what's happening with the rest of the yeah, people? Yeah, what's and, happened? You know what I mean? And now that what's her name? It seems like Villanelle has joined forces with them. Or is she going to stay with them? I don't know. Like, yeah, because she's she wants out of it basically. So what's going to happen with her? So I'm thinking like maybe I don't know. Like, it, yeah, it it it, it did kind of end in a way where it's like it doesn't feel like it's finished. And if it is finished, I'm like, okay, you could have probably gone out on a better note than that. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, and I I mean, it, like you said, it is comedic. There's there's a lot of funny. There was a lot of funny parts in it. Hmm. You know what I mean? But um. Yeah, all right. I, I, like I said, if it ends now, I'll, I'll be cool with it. But like, I do, don't get me wrong, I do love the host, like, Kill It Eve is a good show. Yeah. It's definitely a good show to watch. But it's just, it's just like, this season in particular, I just I just thought, they're just grasping at any straws, they're just grasping at any fears to try and make a story out of it. And uh, it just didn't, a lot, a lot of it didn't make sense to me this season. But, um, yeah, man. Yeah. It's and even, even even the whole Kenny thing, like yeah, like, that was bullshit. Kenny, yeah, no that was time, bullshit. But, All of yeah, that like, suspense. Yeah, and I'm just like, good, well, he fell off it by. He accident. fell off. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm like, uh, that's that's a bit because because that happened in the first episode. You're thinking, All right? Yeah, thank you. It's gonna be a who, who killed Kenny situation. Exactly. And, and it's like he just fell off. And then I'm wondering, is um, what's his name, Constantine? Yeah. I'm I'm also thinking, could that be Kenny's dad? 
Correct. Well, this is the thing. This is the yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, and he's got he's got yeah. a link. I think the door as well. I think there's some link there. The door as well, right? Well, like oh, potentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of unanswered questions, really. And I'm like, this it could be done in another series. But if they do another series, they have to kind of like, where do you want to go? With this like, if you're going to wrap this up now. You have to really make these next eight episodes intense. It's got to be intense. Yeah. It's got to be like proper gory. It's got to be like he's got to do something. He's got to do a maza. Like she's got to do a madness, and I don't know. It's just got to be. You just got to be. Yeah, they weren't. They weren't. Yeah, because there, there wasn't a lot of Eve stuff. I reckon. Nah, man. Nah, not like, at all. Yeah, it was more like, and I thought, yeah, especially when them um, Villanelle went back to Russia and she met her family. I thought, okay, this is this is going to be some character arc moment where she yeah. really. And as to be fair, it does she, she did have a kind of arc because it's like, okay, well now I just don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And, and you, could see, you could see that she was still upset yeah. about killing her family. But still but, now, that, but now, now she's fully in love with Eve, though they're both in love with each other. That bridge scene. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was so walk, cheesy, man. Walk and don't look down. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cheesy. <laughs> But um, yeah, but we'll see what happens. But on on the, I think not on the website, but when you, when you Google Killing Eve, it does say season. F- is it season four now? Or what you know, season three. Season three now. Yeah, That's it does say it does say four seasons. So I think there will be another season. To be honest. Yeah. 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 I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. But yeah. Mm-hmm. And and Carolyn just turned dark as well. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, I, I, I know I'm not. Yeah. yeah so, so we need to see Dark Carolyn in the next series, where. But we kind of saw that though when she was like driving Constantine in the car, and, like she was speeding. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, Const- Const- yeah. Constantine's like, "What are you doing?" Do you know? And then yeah. she kicked him out. So we saw it kind of happening. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. but yeah, I wasn't expecting that though. She killed. She shot off that mm-hmm. that guy. Yeah, so, yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Well, that was clean, Eve. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we had. We missed. We, we, we've got two episodes of um, Insecure, so we're at the final episode. Well, next week will be the final episode. So we've had yeah. two episodes. Mm. Um, episode eight and episode nine. Merv, I'll start with you before I, I give my opinion of the whole nonsense. Which, should we start with the first yeah, well, episode we missed? Yeah, yeah. So you, you kind of know, we, we kind of had a little chat about it the other day, innit? and I yeah. was like, that whole Lawrence and... Issa thing like at first was like oh, it's quite nice they kind of re-engaged and all that stuff and because you know we ended in six, episode seven of like yeah do you want to meet up yeah we figured who's it going to be Condola or, or Issa and obviously it was Issa and yeah they just like they had a really fun date you know and Issa's really they're really enjoying themselves and, and at the same time um what's his name Condola's just kind of in the background to sort of messaging or, or they're in contact. So, yeah, I'm, they're I'm Lawrence, yeah. Lawrence, basically, he, I think he tried to hedge his bets and tried yeah, to, that's what I was thinking, he, he, he must, tried to hedge his bets and speak to both of them and like, yeah, I, I'll link yeah. Issa in the day and I will link you in the night because like, you're yeah. going to get the, 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 the ting, like, but Issa's not, you get me? I want, I, mm. Yeah, I, I'm not here for it, bruv. You know, I just feel like you had kind of made so much progress in your life, yeah? You was moving mm. forward I don't think that Lawrence is good for you. Like, I, who, I don't who, think he's good who, for you. Who, who are you talking about making a progress, Issa or Lawrence? Issa. Yeah, okay. I think Issa was making progress in her life in the yeah. sense of like, for the first time, she wasn't a dependent on a man, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah. her life wasn't revolving around her man. She was kind of looking after herself. Yeah. And I feel like Lawrence is just going to confuse her and stop her from doing what she needs to do. But, but but the thing is, and 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 you gotta remember because obviously like the whole reason why they split up or why she cheated in the first place is that she just didn't feel important. She didn't feel love. She he weren't paying her like a lot of attention and all that stuff. And in his mind, he's thinking, oh, you know what? I'm just trying to make myself a better person. I'm trying to get this ideas running and stuff. So they're kind of going for their own thing basically. And she cheated, and obviously the consequence was that he left. And I think that was really good there because actually it kind of gave Issa a, a, an opportunity to grow as a person. Yeah. So she's kind of grown for a thing. It's like, okay, well, her job, she was always kind of getting a bit sidelined with her job and 
she started to kind of do her block party, being a bit more independent. And, and I guess as well for Lawrence, it's like, well, yeah, he's also smashing it as well. He's like become more confident. He's going to different con- um, parts of the city, um, states, I mean, and, and stuff and doing his thing. And it's like, then they just come back together again. I'm like, well, this doesn't show growth to me now, isn't it? It's yeah. like they're both kind of like, as much as people might be rooting, no, 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 I want Lawrence and Lisa to get back together. Like, yeah, but it's a bit fairy tale isn't it? It's like, well, actually, why don't you, you both made mistakes. Like, why don't you just learn to grow apart? You can be friends, but just do your, do your thing separately, isn't it? So I wasn't... Yeah, I felt like yeah. if they, if, if it had shown some form of growth, they had enjoyed the date, they had become friends, then, I don't know, two episodes later, they sleep with each other. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Like, you've, You've earned it, if that makes sense. Like you, you've mm-hmm. gone through the whole. Let's get back to each other. But yeah. it was the first night, and this was after he just got off the phone to Condola, saying, "Yeah, yeah, yeah soon come." Like, no, well, I'm just gonna get rid of Isa, and it will link up. And Isa heard that, and Isa was like, "Oh, I want to stay the night. I'm not ready to let go." And I was thinking, uh, yeah. "Yeah." She was blocking. She was blocking, boy. But yeah, it, like it, she it, was it, literally it, just been a cop block. But I just felt like. <laughs> Yeah, the female version. Yeah, I wasn't here for it. And well, anyway, like I said, they did their thing. Yeah, then she went home the next day, and then which brought us on to episode nine. Mm. And the beginning of the episode, I didn't know if it was a dream sequence. Yeah, it was real, but it was real. They were sleep. They were just on the sofa, sleeping in every um, sex in every different um, position they stood off on the one, one sofa. Time. <laughs> like and they were like I guess they were trying to get back into each other and that's what they were yeah, yeah. and I guess there was a bit of honesty because Nathan messaged Isa and Isa then said to Lawrence this is what's happening I'm trying to help my bridging move mm. but it's my ex I'm just letting you know yeah, so again yeah. that did that did show some form of growth yeah and then you had like Molly Molly went to her counsellor mm-hmm. and I think the problem with that was it's traumatic Mm-hmm. But I don't think Molly's ready to let go or even acknowledge that she's an issue. Yeah, yeah. And that kind of resulted in, as the episode continued and they were all at um, the boyfriend's house and then they were all playing the game and then she just, out of nowhere, just messaged Isa, see, I am trying with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Which was very <laughs> shady. It was very shady. I know, yeah, yeah. Because at first I thought to myself, did he, did Issa have Andrew's phone? But no, it was her phone, isn't it? That yeah, she and she just messaged person. the wrong person by default. Yeah. Yeah. I can't <laughs> lie, man. My heart, you know when you have that cringe moment, you think, oh no, like, I thought to myself, what's going to happen? But yeah, you could see that she was really upset about that, man. Yeah, and I think that's, I think Molly, Molly hasn't really grown. No. And, and that's why I feel like maybe Issa's outgrown Molly at the moment. Because Molly, again, is up in her feelings. Yeah, yeah. I think the whole, yeah, sorry. No, because I, I think the whole premise of the earlier se- seasons is that um, Issa always relies on Molly, isn't it? Like, yeah. Stuff and yeah, now now it's just kind of well, yeah. I, I, I don't rely. I, I just want to be. I just want to have that connection with you again. Not necessarily having to rely on you, but I just want to be friends. And yeah, Molly's just going on shady. It was, and that episode, that last episode, was actually directed by Kerry Washington. Yeah, I was going to say that as well, you know. Yeah. First, that name was just like, raw. That, that was well done, Kerry. Yeah. It's good. Apparently Trump has, there's been, like, it's all this stuff, because apparently Trump liked one of the tweet about Insecure. And apparently that was the only tweet that Trump has liked. And they're like, well, why is Trump liking our tweets? So I don't know if someone's done it by accident. And the person who did <laughs> yeah. the actual tweet, I mean, they've changed their handle to Black Life Matters. So it looks like Trump has liked a Black Lives Matter tweet, which is a bit weird. But yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the next episode. Personally, I'd prefer um, her to end up with Nathan. Yeah. And it, even then, to mean that even Nathan admitting that he is bipolar and that is the why he the reason why he disappeared that time. Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was quite that was growth again. I think Nathan yeah, exactly. is a better fit to her, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, no. Because yeah. Lawrence again, Lawrence has got a job um, in another country, another city as San, well, isn't it? San, San Francisco. So he, I mean, she could be all up on him, and he's going to disappear anyway. Yeah, you can see that's going to happen, isn't it? Play, play in there, like. 
So yeah, no, I, I, I think they just need to like just go their separate ways, man. Do you know what I mean? Like definitely, I think it's just yeah, time to kick up, where. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm looking forward to the next episode of Insecure anyway. Mm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yesterday, which is Monday in the United Kingdom, there was a show that came out on BBC One, which was called Sitting in Limbo, which was about the Windrush generation. Um, the story relied around a... What was his name? I'm, I don't want to get his name wrong, you know. Um, well, why has the name completely gone out of my head? And I only watched it today, you know. <laughs> um, and, and, and Anthony, Anthony, yeah. Anthony Bryan. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Anthony Bryan about the Windrush scandal and about like the Tory government and how they kind of had this random law that they kind of passed, which was with, with the, the basic premise of the story was he was a guy that had come over from Jamaica with his mum when he was a child, eight years old. Yeah, eight, yeah. And he was, I think like 58 now, he was applying for a passport to go back to Jamaica to go and visit his mum. And mm. this was his first passport. He had never been out of the country since. And basically it flagged up. And it was similar to the story on in Top Boy, where, do you remember the mum who wanted to... The mum was working. And yeah, then yeah. one day she, just, she couldn't go to work anymore. And they told that immigration sent us a letter, you can't work here. Yeah. And that kind of happened. It was a letter that came to immigration and said, look, you can't work here. Otherwise you'll get fined 10 grand or whatever. He's like, okay, but what does this mean? I don't understand. And then it was like no one explained to him what was going on at all. And he got put in a detention centre and he came out of a detention centre and he had to like register every day and no one was kind of letting him know what happened. But it was really a sad story because generationally it was something that was real. And coincidentally, because this he was a guy from Enfield or Edmonton, he used to live in Hackney. Like he went to school with my dad. So my dad knew him. Mm. So, like, my dad calls me up, he goes, mad, mad. Hey, did you watch this story about Anthony? I, don't, I used to go to school with him. I'm like, yes, dad, you went to school with him. Like, I don't, I don't know. They're in, like, the same year at school, everything. Like, Seriously? Yeah, my mum knows him, everything. So even my mum this morning, she was like, yeah, I know Anthony. And da, 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 do you know what I mean? So, for the, again, of that generation, it was, it's, like, very real, isn't it? Like, because they knew of the story, they knew him. And it was, it's interesting because over the past, I think since lockdown is, I've had a lot of, I guess, spare time. So, like, I, I even signed up to, like, Ancestry.co.uk. Not plugging them or anything, but <laughs> I signed up because I wanted to kind of try and chase my family tree. Mm. It's quite a weird one because, like, even speaking to my grandparents, my grandparents weren't born in this country. They were all born in Jamaica and they all came over. So, mm. like, talking to some of them, they remember the name of the ship that they came over on or they remember the plane that they came over. But then if you try to go any further and ask them about like my great grandparents, even though I met some of them, like they don't know much of that story. Do you know what mm. I mean? In that sense. So even when, because a lot of them were either in Jamaica while their parents came over or they came over and their parents came over later and all those kind of things. And it just, like I said, that's why the story of um, sitting in limbo resonated with me a lot because he was a guy, he was like, well, I don't know where my birth certificate is. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Like I came here with my mum, like I, I've been here all the time. I went to school here, I've got all my records and still they just didn't believe him. And I remember they, even in the thing you see David Lammy, and I remember when David Lammy was kind of fighting for this cause and the, oh, what was her name? I can't remember the woman's name and she kind of fell on the sword and she said, yeah, she took responsibility. But really this was Theresa May thing as well. Mm-hmm. When she was head of home office and stuff. Yeah, she caused all of this. She caused everything. Yeah, and it's like, there were so many people, even yesterday, I think there was like that, there were 63 people that had been sent back to Jamaica. And of those 63 people, 13 of them have died. Yeah. And of those people, none of them, like hardly any of them have got any form of reparations. And there was like a big amount of money that the government had set aside for reparations and no one's got it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How did you find the programme yesterday? What was, what, was your, what was your opinions on it? I, 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 just think, I think it's deep that they end up like, yeah, the way they just handled the situation, and and because it's a TV program, I don't know if they've just sort of dramatised it a bit more. But even just putting those people in a detention centre, it's like, is that is that necessary? Like, mm-hmm. it almost looks like prison that they're in. Do you know what I mean? 
and it's like even though you feel, even if you believe that this person shouldn't be in a country, you know that they've been here practically all their life. That like he's a fifty-eight year old man. So why why are you just all of a sudden sort of why don't let why not let him stay at home until everything's sorted out? Do you know what I mean? He didn't like, have a, a, he didn't have a passport, so he couldn't run anywhere. Exactly. Like exactly. just exactly. stay in the comfort of your own home that you clearly know he's been in. It's 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 so demoralizing. Do you know what I mean? And degrading. So it, yeah. It, yeah. No, I, t- I totally agree. It's, it's just, it's absolutely mental. And Theresa May, you know, she caused chaos when she was here. But, you know, this is, this is ridiculous. It made, it made no sense. If he's been in, like I said, he's been here since day one, okay, eight years old, was it? Yeah. And, um, and now, you know, he's been, he's, he went to school, he's been working, normal BAU road, doing everything as normal. And now you're telling him, no, 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 we're going to send you back, son. I'm sorry about that. We're going to send you back. Send me back where? I don't even know my place. I don't even know where I come from. Mm. There's a lot of people which have been deported. Yeah, it was down to criminal activities, etc. cetera. Um, but said they're going to send you back. They don't even know where they're going and how to blend in to a country like, where they initially come from. Where were cash yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Cash got sent to Jamaica. Yeah, and he that he went to Jamaica, and he hadn't been there for again, and he yeah. again, he didn't have no one over there. Yeah, and um, who are you talking about? Castastic. <laughs> come on, bro. What, what, do you mean, what do you mean? Come on. <laughs> I'm meant to know this. Yes, you yeah, should I, know I, this. I, yeah, you no, should I, know I, this. I don't know. I don't know either. No, no Merv, I don't Merv won't know. But <laughs> no, I, I thought know. Richard. No, I thought Richard why, would, why would Merv know? You're in, the music, you're in the music scene, Rich. You're in the music scene, Rich. Come on, man. Oh, Biggie D. Clash, Come on, bro. Clash Tastic. Cash Tastic. He <laughs> <laughs> goes by Cash now, isn't it? I think yeah, he changed yeah. his name. To... Cash Tastic. Like, Cash... Okay. Did you watch? Um, oh, what was that film? What was Femi and them's film? Um, Intent. Intent. He's in the Intent too. Nah, nah, the rich don't know about that, man. Anyway, he's, he's, he's a UK I, I rapper. He's, he's a UK rapper, man. Just Google him. But yeah, he got sent back a few oh, years back. Oh, oh, see, how was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's now, yeah, he's now back over here. He's he's now, that's all been sorted. But yeah, Steely Limbo, for me, was quite a deep um, programme. And it just kind of highlighted some of the kind of thing. And I guess it's also for them, they're looking at it in the sense of, Again, Windrush, the Windrush generation came over here because they were part of the Commonwealth and you welcomed them with open arms to rebuild the country after the war. So you can't then turn around and say, yeah, you got to get out of here now. But Nate, they didn't, have, they, didn't, they didn't have no official papers really, did they? It was the invite. No. Yeah. So, have, they, they, so they had no documentation to prove that they can stay here, really. No. Do you know so what there mean? was an invite. So basically there's yeah. like, I'm mean, speaking to my grandparents, there was like an invite. There was like things that were posted through people's doors. Like tell him to come and like help the motherland kind of thing, yeah, yeah, um, and stuff like that, which is weird. It's not the motherland, but that kind of stuff, like your yeah. queen Egypt and all this stuff. And then basically, you literally you came out on your boat or whatever, and because it was the Commonwealth, you was allowed to have free movement between your host country and England. And then, so literally, most of them just had like a welcome, like um, their names written on the ship manifesto that came over here. And then they knew you was in here. You, you didn't have no other documentation. You just went about your business. But I think after a certain year, I can't remember in the 80s, they stopped all of it. And that's when it started to become a bit of an issue. Like, I think if you were born before, if you were born before a certain year in the 80s, you automatically got British citizenship. Yeah. You're born over here. But after yeah. a certain time, you can't, it's not automatic anymore. Yeah, you have to apply. Or your parents have to apply. Yeah, on your behalf. And them times, again, you could travel on your parents' passport. So I know I went on holiday, like, with, on my mum's passport. Whereas now, all kids have to have their own passports. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they think it was such a weird time for it to come on, especially their whole Black Lives Matter. I know. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I, think, I think it was planned that way, to be honest. No, I, I mean, think, it, was, it, was, it was pre-recorded, and I think they rushed it to release now. No, I think, I think it was always supposed to come out this time. You reckon? A, yeah, there's a few of them. There's a few of them that are, were destined to come out. Like, there's one next month potentially that's going to come out about Churchill or stuff like that. Yeah. But it's whether it's just maybe it's an 
coincidence that it is while the tensions are high. Which at first, when I saw it going around on social media, I was thinking, "Oh my god, like this is going to be really bad, and yeah. it's, going to, oh, it's it's going to it's going to stoke the fire." But after watching it, I was like, "Actually, it's just like a really deep story. It's not going to make people want to start throwing bricks through people's windows." Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, a lot of people were quite upset about it. You know, looking at a bit of social media, they were they were quite upset about it. I think they were angry at the fact that one, it came on at this time, especially when um, obviously, high. yeah, massively high. So it was frustrating, and and I think, but down to, down to the government politics again. How can you? How could they enforce it? And not know the consequences, how it can affect someone. And he lost everything, didn't he? Hmm. Mm. But imagine, Rich, if they didn't show it now, because of everything that's going on, are they doing the thing that we want them not to do, is have open, open conversation about things? Why are you saying this question? Why are you saying this for? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to be real. I haven't been in a classroom with kids in... <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, these, are, these are kind of questions that I pose to my students. I, I can't see them, so I apologize. Yeah. Um, did any of you. Should I go on the 13th for I May Destroy You? I will quickly go on I May Destroy You. Did any, any of you watch Michaela Cole's new program, I May Destroy not, You? Yeah, not yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's, yeah. it's, on my, it's on my list to watch, definitely. I yeah. saw, saw it. Yeah. It's, it's a bit. Did you watch both episodes or did you watch one episode? I think I watched both, but I can't remember. All right, yeah. So it, how it comes out, it comes out Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday. But you could have watched the second episode yesterday on iPlayer. So, all right, what I'll do is I'll park it, we'll watch it, and we'll see next week. Like, if what people's opinions are, you might have... Right, cool. you know, yeah, yeah, I'll watch, you it, watched, I'll watch it. Potentially could have watched three episodes by then. Yeah. Right. Um, the Netflix documentary, The 13th, it was not re-released because it was out before but it kind of jumped back into the top 10 yeah, yeah. And trending, also, trend, yeah. trending they've also yeah. made it be available on YouTube the Netflix YouTube account didn't know they had one but they do <laughs> <sighs> maybe we I heard, you know, the thing, I heard about it when it first came out and I refused to watch it because I knew my blood would boil so I just, I just never watched it, but I, and I won't watch it now because I, I'm already, I'm still caught up on George George Floyd in it. So like, I don't know watch this as well, bro. Because I know the prison system is 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 a business and this is a setup for black people. Mm. I know I know it is. So to watch how they do it and to see how like those those poor brothers are suffering in there, I, I can't, I can't, man. It just yeah, pretty yeah. much shows you how slavery was never abolished. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they just changed it. Exactly. Yeah. It, to, it's in the constitution, right? You can be enslaved if you commit a crime. And yes, yeah. it, it, it's a deep program, girl. It's a deep one. I, I, I can't say the word can never be. I enjoyed it, mm. but it was. You should, watch it, you should watch it. You should watch it. It's uh, football walking. All right, cool. I watch it. It was. It was. It's quite intense, man. Because yeah, I was. I was watching it today, and I was thought, wow, it's like a lot. A lot of information just. In, in that one hour and 40 minutes, man, a lot. But yeah, we spoke about stuff. We spoke about the justice system in America. Mm. Like how it's mad. They have mandatory sentences. So because mm. they have mandatory sentences, it's almost like no one goes to court. So you'll yeah. get done on something. They'll say, all right, you know what? I'm ni I'll nice you. I'll give you two years. Or if you go to court, you get a mandatory of 17. But well, you didn't do the crime, Kel. What one you going? What, what are you taking, Kel? You no, taking the no. two years or you taking the seventeen? So it's two years, isn't it? But well, you didn't so do you it, though, Kel. You didn't I do know. the crime. Well, well, what do you them. do? That's how you get them. That's how they catch you, isn't it? And that's what I'm saying. And then you see, you see, once you've said guilty, Kel, that's it. That's you're it. you're now in the system and within the system. Life over. We can do what we want with you. Exactly. See, that's, that's the. That's the... Even the stuff what like this about you can get the same crime if you had one kilo of crack cocaine is equivalent to if you had a hundred kilos of cocaine. Yeah, that's a sentencing. But where is the crack cocaine, Kel? What community is the crack cocaine in? Oh, come on. We know this, man. The projects. And where's the cocaine found? Where's it found? In the... 
Right. And this is and this is where you can see that the system is set up that way. And it talked about all of the presidents like had this war on drugs where mm. everybody else, like the medicals, the social, everybody else was like, okay, guys, the drugs is not that big a deal. But all the presidents were pushing this war on drugs, war on drugs, war on drugs, war on drugs. Now it was, it was a deep, it was a deep program, man. It was a deep program. Yeah, it, it's just so much politics. They talk, they talk about Reagan. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, Reagan, Nixon, Nixon. Yeah. He was a kingpin. He was a guy, bro, flooding the streets with crack. Allegedly. Nah, man. Because. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they pitched it with the hippies with marijuana and the blacks with heroin and crack cocaine. Or yeah, I think that's how they I think that's yeah. how they pitched it. But it's um, yeah, it, it was interesting. You know, it's it's I, I just you know I just don't see a way out. Honestly, I'm <laughs> you know there's so much black matter stuff going on at the moment. So it's it's made me you know look into stuff even more and more. And Nate. Nate mentioned to me obviously it's, um, Sky documentaries so I downloaded everything to do with Black Lives Matters <laughs> and I watch it and I think how the hell are we going get, to get out of this how's it all going to end and so, so I put a post yeah, of a case that happened a few years back a white guy and a black guy yeah, and they, they both had the exact same crime armed robbery yeah? oh, I think I've seen that yeah, and um, everything's identical. Everything's identical. The black guy got 22 years in prison. The white guy got 19 months in prison or something like that. Same, it was the same judge, the same court, huh? everything. Yes. I'll try, I'll, try, I'll try and find it. it the same court, the same judge. Everything was identical. Everything was identical. Apart from the person. One's black, one was white. One got 22 years. The other a guy got like two years or two years in prison. Well, they said that they had so you know they got the curfew in America, yeah. So they arrested three guys on for being out while the curfew's on. Um, sounds like a really shitty joke, so I apologize. A black guy, a white guy, and a Hispanic guy. Yeah? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It sounds like them an Englishman, Irishman, a Welshman, but yeah. yeah. So the white guy got a bail of a hundred, a hundred dollars. Yeah. The Hispanic was a thousand dollars. The black guy. Ten thousand dollars. All of it again, same, same crime. Yeah, but you remember, like I said, in America, if you can't do bail, you stay in jail. Mm. Yeah, where over here, like I ain't never been in the system, but I know that if you get bail, they tell you that you need to come and sign on and blah blah blah, and that's it, bro. You're good. Mm. <laughs> Could you imagine, because your parents don't have money or they can't remortgage their house or something, you just got to sit down in jail for something that you didn't do. Yeah, that's, that's mad. And that's what happened to that guy. Uh, <clears throat> happened to that boy. What's that guy's name in the, in the 13th? He had, he's had his own documentary as well. That was um, deep what happened to him. I can't remember his name. Yeah, well. I can't remember his name. And he, commit, and he committed suicide. Oh, the one, oh. JC tried to help. JC tried to help as well. Yeah, yeah, that that's was, the one. That's the one. Yeah, yeah Khalif. I think it's Khalif or something. Like that. Yeah, Khalif something. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that's it's a prime example. He didn't have money. Family were poor. They have money for bail. Yeah, but um, he, he committed um, suicide after he was released. Like yeah, so after much. Released. Yeah, yeah. So mental, much for mental, him. He couldn't mental trauma. It. Like he got yeah, beat up trauma. every day. Yeah. And he didn't even commit the crime. Like. Uh, that is. Like, that's is why it, I say it, every black person should watch it because you need. Like, I feel like we should see how we're treated properly. I don't know. I don't know. What um he he was in prison for like two years, isn't it? For the crime he didn't do, was it two on, and a half years? On, on, yeah. yeah, he was like he hadn't even been charged, right? They were just Bro, keeping man, him in no, there. No, yeah. That's one. Of the, that's one of the saddest stories, man. One of the saddest <laughs> stories. Um, the thing about America, right? Every city has their own rules. Yeah, yeah. Every, every state, every state, every state. So every state yeah. has their own. It's like, how is this even possible? Like, and that and that Zimmer that Zimmer trial. When he killed that young boy. George, yeah, oh Trim. my God. So you Trim had, yeah. you had George I'm Zimmerman last year. Yeah. Yeah, George Zimmerman was in there. On the, it's on a documentary, yeah? And he got away with it because he said, basically he did self-defense. Yeah. yeah. But, but he followed the they showed, guy. They showed, um, they, they have the whole radio trend, uh, conversation, right? Yeah, yeah, Where yeah. They yeah. dispatch, like I said, they say, yeah. leave him alone. He's fine. Leave him alone. Mm. But he went in court and what it was, he found a loophole that said, 
in America, you're allowed to bear arms if you're in fear of whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever yeah. the case he may be. Fear of his life, bullshit. Yeah, and that's what he did. And that's how he got away with it. It was ugh, and yeah. because Trayvon yeah. Martin, because Trayvon Martin did beat like I think they were fighting, and he, he had marks in a minute. So he, like this house is evidence that like, yeah, I got look, I got bruises here, I got bruises there. Yeah, because you were attacking him, he was fighting for his life. Yeah, like, what do you expect? But I, I don't think I, I know we keep going down this long, this this rabbit hole. But listen, you might hear about like, that that year old kid that got executed, youngest guy ever, and, like he was fourteen years old, bro. And they like set him up back in the day, back in the day, yeah, 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 yeah. That story, yeah, yeah, tears, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was not tears of laughter, like I was probably. I, I read that story about two years ago, three years ago. I couldn't stop crying, man. 14 year old, 14 year old boy, yeah, and they depicted oh, as well. Oh like, man. Cool. The, 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 the depiction oh, is too much. It's and too the, much. Um, obviously, Emmett Till. There's a lot. It's, it yeah, yeah Emmett yeah, Emmett Till. Yeah, stop. exactly. Sad, man. And then the sad, woman came sad. out on the deathbed and said he didn't. I know. Whatever. Oh, uh, idiot. And, and that one was a wolf whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's all it was. Just black kid. Yeah. Apparently whistled at a white woman. Yeah. yeah. Mutilated his, like... Anyway, Destroyed we him. Know. We know and they, 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 they gave him an open casket so everyone can see yeah, what they've done to him. Like, I yeah, want yeah. everyone to see what they did to my son, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally deformed, deformed. Yeah. A baby, like, like what 14. was he, 12? No, it's 14, man. What, Emmett Till as well? Yeah, Emmett, oh, yeah. I think Emmett was 14, yeah. I'm sure he was. Yeah, there's another film that I want to, well, I'm going to start watching, well, it's been, again, this one came out a little while ago, about Brian Banks. <clears throat> yeah, 14. And he was... Um, well, I haven't watched it, so I can't kind of talk to you about it properly, but basically the story kind of goes, is like, it was him and this girl in school. I think, like, he was a high school NFL player, a high school American player, and I think oh, yeah. I they tried, that. like, I think she wanted to lip him or they wanted to lip or something, yeah, like something really yeah, trivial. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, someone came, so that he kind of ran away, because he's thinking, like, what I'm doing. She was like, she oh, no. He, yeah, she got embarrassed. He said, he raped me. Bro, he destroyed him. Destroyed his career, bro. He was in prison for fifteen years or something like that. Yeah. Like, and he did nothing, bro. He did bro, nothing. It's deep, man. And there's so yeah. many stories like that. There's so many stories. But do you, do you know how um, Black Wall Street happened? That how it got massacred. You know, um, um, Watchmen. The, the, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. Watchmen, the first off. episode. Do you know how it all happened? The story behind it all, bro. This the, so this guy was in a lift, yeah, and there's a white woman there, and the lift kind of jerked, so his shoulder rubbed on the on the on the right white woman, bro. She's screaming rape, she screamed rape, yeah. So they, they arrested the black guy, put him in prison, yeah. But the black guy's father was a lawyer, isn't it? So he went there with his people. In, in those days, if you go there with your people, because like, you're black in it, so they can just. Yeah, Whatever, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So he went there with people like so the police. The, so the police people were like, "What well, you come here? What you, well, you want to cause a riot? What well, you, you trying to do?" He goes, "No, nah, why have you arrested my son? No, you you need this, you need that, you need blah 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 blah. All this all this stuff. He's a lawyer, isn't it? Got the son out, and basically the, the police force felt buoyed, didn't it? They felt buoyed off. So they made up some lie that um we we felt under threat. They came with a big gang. They threatened us. Blah 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 blah. So that's why." So they use that excuse to come and just destroy the whole of um, Black Wall, um, Black Wall Street. yeah, Black Wall Street. Do you know what I mean? And and bomb that, that. They literally bombed it. Like there was planes bombing Black Wall Street. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. It's it's it's. Mad. And, and, so, and another thing about Thirteenth, you know, yeah. you, you see when I think there was a black guy is walking in the street. And people are punching him, kicking him in the back, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And and people don't realize when we people when we protest now, they don't understand. It's like they forget about history. Yeah, man. It's like they've it's like hold on. And that wasn't, that wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it's something. It's, it's it's mad. So to go back on it, but yeah, I'm just thinking about it in my head and thinking it's it's absolutely insane. Yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. Mm. Don't want, to start, don't want to end on a downer, but if you do get a chance, if any of you get a chance to watch Sky Documentaries, like, it's a new channel, it's only been out for about two weeks, like, there are some good documentaries on Sky Documentaries, 
like I'm all for it. I've literally I've recorded so many documentaries off there. Like knowledge is power in it. So let's try and get it. For real, for real, man. They've even got an eighty nine documentary about Arsenal and then winning the <laughs> <laughs> good documentary, man. Good documentary. Yeah. Hey, but the thing is, on on that one, I saw Tony Adams was wearing a suit, but he had armpit patches, sweat my patches yeah. in his arm. And it's how is that even possible? You're wearing a suit, and you got your armpit sweating through your suits. How's that even possible? Yeah, they're man, they're, they're alcoholics, they're big, isn't it? They're yeah, yeah. alcoholics. Bro. And you see, and they've even got it when they come off the like. So when they get the coach back down from Liverpool, and they yeah. just end up in this pub. Yeah. And like everyone just gets hammered. Yeah, like, yeah, it's good, man. It's good. It's good. But yeah, I don't know where. Like I said, what, what uh, the, the the CW shows? You even watch the Star? Is it Star Starlight or whatever it's called? Oh my oh, god, Star Girl! I, I don't like Yo, Thank you for reminding me. You know, like I feel like I watched. That's how we spoke about it, Mike. I watched half. Yeah. I watched the first episode, and then we spoke about it. I haven't gone back to it. So let me write that down, Star Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so you watched um, it yet? No, no, I ain't watched it yet. Oh. T- today was the finale of Flash. Is it? Yeah, I, oh, I no. literally I started watching it, then I had to do something and I couldn't finish it. Someone got someone got fired from the Flash, isn't it? Is it for a, for a tweet? Please let it be the flash. Elongated man. <laughs> <laughs> he says elongated man. He ain't been in it for ages. Uh, <laughs> he's Tim, innit? They sacked him. Why? Who? Who? Elongated man. Yeah. Look at me going like I know who any of these people are. <laughs> what, what do you do? What do you do? He's he done a tweet. I haven't read the tweet, but... Elongated yeah, he, man, you know. He's basically, he's like a like, sorry, uh, shout out to Charlie, but apparently he's... The, the elastic man. He's elastic. It, well, it, it is actually him as well. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, Charlie says something about it, but it's like something similar to like James Gunn's outburst, some some historical tweet. Okay. Um, he said um, the tweets were hurtful racist. and unacceptable and he regrets them deeply. But to be honest, he hasn't been in this series. Yes, hmm. for the past, the past... The past three seasons, he's been in it. He's been in it a lot. He's, is he in this current one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you know what? Sorry, you know, it's, I, I watched. I've watched up to date to Supergirl. I have. I've got to go back to Flash. So allow me. Allow yeah, me. Flash. No. I watched Flash. Yeah, he's he's got this thing in this, the woman, his ex girlfriend, yeah. or she's in? like a um, she's like a she's like a cat woman, basically, isn't it? She's cat woman. Yeah. Yeah. I, was like, I take it this is an historic tweet someone's found, and they've basically. Took a screenshot of it and posted it everywhere. I have no idea. Yeah, 2012. Something from what, what, 2012. What was the tweet? What was the tweet saying? I'm trying to find it. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> it, yeah, to be fair, this tweet has only got his, his, his apology. I don't think they've. He's, a, he's delete, since deleted his Twitter account. So, but, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, like I said, in Flash, I didn't see him. Like when when I've seen what's her name? Who's Flash's girlfriend called again? Uh, Iris. Iris. Iris has turned it into the mirror one. Like yeah, the one. yeah, 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 yeah. That, I, That's where I'm at. She's like turned into mirror one. I, I didn't see him though. That's what I'm saying. I didn't see him in the episode. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not. He's not. Yeah. He's not every episode guy. You'll come here and there in it. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, Mad. Anyway, you man. It's been a pleasure. Mm-hmm. It's episode yeah, 48. Always, yeah. Two more episodes yeah. until we hit 50. Um, we you may know, have you know. a Fully Geek special coming up soon, but there'll be more information on our socials. Um, do follow our sister podcast, the Fully Geek Ladies. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're out. Blah. So get me, they've got their own Instagram page, they've got all of that. Just, Put up yeah. to shame, they're trying to put up to shame, but don't watch that. We're coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are putting us to shame, but we'll get there, we'll get there. But anyway, people, that was a-